As specialists in the damp proofing industry, we are frequently called out to inspect homes where the occupier suspects they are suffering from rising or penetrating damp, only to find that the issue lies with poor ventilation and condensation. That is not to downplay the impact that condensation can have on a property. In fact, it is the leading cause of damp problems in the UK. So in order to help you address any problems you may have, we will outline our top tips on how to stop condensation in the home. How serious are condensation problems? People tend to assume that condensation is harmless because we see it around our homes so frequently. And generally speaking, as long as we have a source of ventilation that allows damp and humid air to escape outside the property, condensation should not occur. However, in persistent cases or in rooms that are not adequately ventilated, condensation can cause wallpaper bubbling and lifting from walls, unsightly damp patches, stains on wallpaper and plaster, mould growth, damaged window frames, furniture and clothing, and lingering damp and musty smells. The development of mould growth is the most telltale sign that is frequently associated with condensation. The appearance of mould may be black, white, yellow or green in colour. How to tackle condensation? The following are some easy to implement DIY tips that will help to ventilate affected rooms and deal with the majority of condensation problems. Keep windows open. This will help to flush out any humid air in affected rooms. Don't block airways, vents or air bricks. Cleaning air bricks once a year will greatly improve subfloor ventilation. Do not press furniture against your walls. If air becomes trapped behind these surfaces, it can lead to the perfect conditions for black spot mould to form. Dry clothes outside, not on radiators. If this is not possible, put them in an enclosed room with the window open. Make use of extractor fans when cooking in the kitchen or showering in the bathroom. If you use a cloth to remove condensation off the windows in the morning, remember to wring it out in a sink rather than dry it on a radiator where the moisture will evaporate into the room again. Alongside these methods, you can minimize the appearance of condensation in your home by keeping rooms warm enough during the colder seasons. If you have central heating, set it to provide background warmth in all rooms, including unused ones. By maintaining a regulated temperature in addition to adequate ventilation levels, you can reduce the opportunity for condensation to form. What to do if your condensation problems remain? Unfortunately, in some cases, condensation problems will continue despite homeowners' best attempts to rectify them with DIY fixes. If you find yourself in this position, then we would recommend getting in contact with a qualified and experienced damp proofing specialist to discuss installing a mechanical ventilation unit to provide the required level of ventilation to flush out persistent condensation problems. Peter Cox is a market leader in the industry with decades of experience helping our customers tackle their condensation problems. Our fully trained and qualified surveyors are equipped with a variety of condensation solutions to help restore your property to its natural, fresh and dry state.